be Wolf? What happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. I'm not. What you're looking for, I... I think you'd be better off looking at uh, the Lucky Pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where it is, right? I've been there. Didn't find what I was looking for. Had some words with Jersey, too. Words? Anyway, if, if I'd have known you already looked at the Lucky Pond, I, I, I wouldn't have pointed you there. I, I just figured anything worth a damn in Fable Town goes through Jersey's hands at some point. You know that. Believe me, I don't want to waste your time, Sheriff. And I certainly don't mean to offend. Where's the magic mirror shard? Quit fucking around and tell me. I'm, I'm not. I am not fucking around. If you're lying to me, I'm gonna find out. Listen, Crane had the mirror. Mary had Crane. And she comes around here, right? If you're covering for her, I'm gonna have a problem with you. So you better think real hard about what you say next. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. No, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Shit, Johan. Come on out. Just wait in the front. I'll be right out. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. I've already told you, damn it. Just give me the magic mirror shard and I'll leave you alone. And you can go back to whatever it is you're doing here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. What are you hiding behind that door? Huh? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please, please don't kill me. Please, don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It was a simple choice to make in the moment. They? Do you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The Crooked Man's people. Jersey Devil, Dean Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I let Mary and those Porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when.
is this place? I told you, Bigby. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. It's business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. You're not off the fucking hook yet, Butcher. If I find something, if I so much as smell something that makes me think you're lying. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the Crooked Man's, uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a... a wheel or what? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked by breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Too bad they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the Crooked Man has under his yoke. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's... it's all the fucking same. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. What the hell is that? I know this isn't your code. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like Crane's. It's seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. No time for traveler's checks, huh? He won't be needing this anymore. Piece of... The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? 
What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in- I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? She's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White... Oh, Sheriff I... Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. Crooked man has something on everybody. It wasn't just Beauty and the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. He was even running black market magic out of the butcher shop. But that's over now. Because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. And that's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Oh yeah? Take a number. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? You got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I found it in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Well, how would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I, I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? 
bloody glamour. I only came in to see... Miss Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Hey, I tried to give you money back at the Lucky Pawn, but you wouldn't take it. I was just being polite. Ever heard of it? That wouldn't have covered the cab ride home, let alone a glamour. Please, I'm not looking for any more than to cover the big ticket damages. Not a cent more. I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. I need it, Big B. I didn't throw myself through your wall. I'll ask Woody if you want payback. You good for nothing, piece of... The woodsman is broke. You saw the way he was living. Yeah, in your building. You know what I mean. <sighs> Please, I need the money for glamours, Big B. That's all. This isn't exactly a new problem with you, Toad. You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? Wouldn't you know it? Colin is going to the farm. Well, I would say each case deserves to be decided on its own uh, merits, don't you think? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just want to stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest to watch. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right, burdening the weakest of us like this. This world isn't kind to those of us who can't pass for human. Look, you were unglamoured three days ago. And you're still unglamored now. I can't ignore that. But you go to the farm, things cool down here a bit. Maybe you can come back at some point. Best I can do. What a crook of shite. The government by the fables for the fables, my ass. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. I did it. He'll be gone tomorrow. Him and TJ. It may not have felt good, but it was the right thing to do. You know that. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. Guys like the Crooked Man, all they care about is money. That's what all his operations were about. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't bringing enough money in, or... Maybe they were just trying to find a way out. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. He's probably still... Waking up a little. Snow, I know you've got your reasons, but he's not our top concern right now. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. just happened. We pointed you in the wrong direction. 
and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. <sighs> mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So, where does Crooked Man hang out? recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. The door. It moves. Yeah. Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, Make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way, but we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fabletown government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. doing here good evening sheriff I'm here to take you to the boss thanks by the way for leaving off tiny tiny to him I have to admit when they asked me to watch the door I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal I know you aren't here on a social call you know I kind of thought the crooked man would have bigger guards trolls ogres I'm almost insulted he doesn't maybe he just wants to talk. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. All right, let's get this over with. Come on. That's all I want, Sheriff. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job. And I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. I understand the position you're in, but you don't have to do this. There are other things you could do. So it's just that easy? Maybe not, but you don't want to be a part of this. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you 
But we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Tell me who the Mate, fuck is back I there. I'm scared of you. I, so I don't exactly know. I, I just mind the door. You needn't worry. The boss is there. He'll come around. I know that much. I might cream before him. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he... That won't be necessary. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. You see, everyone in Fabletown has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. It's over. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. 